Yes. Well, speaking of refrigerators, can you imagine your life without one in your kitchen? On this week's Ag Minute, our friends at the Southern Food and Beverage Museum show us around one of their exhibits highlighting the origins of the ice box, as my mother still calls it, and early refrigerators and its impact on modern food. Hi, I'm Liz Williams, here at the Southern Food and Beverage Museum for your Ag Minute. Today we're going to talk about Louisiana and ice. In 1849, there was the first commercially manufactured ice here in New Orleans. It was so successful that very soon there were many, many ice houses that were manufacturing ice. They sold the ice and the idea of it by giving it to bars every day and they were encouraged to put the ice in drinks. The first week it was free. The second week it was also free, but by then people were really using it and they weren't, they weren't holding back. By the third week, they had to pay if they wanted ice and there was no turning back. So next time you have a glass of iced tea or a lemonade, enjoy your ice. To visit this exhibit or others like it, you should check out the Southern Food and Beverage Museum. You can learn all about it and plan your trip by heading to our website at twilatv.org. Still to come on Twyla, how 4-H helped discover an American Idol finance. But first, have you priced lumber lately? We find out why you're paying so much up next. Stay with us.